Hey guys, I wanna show you this two-man tent here. Um, one of my favorite things about it is how well it holds up in snow. I've never tested quite how much snow it can hold, but there's never been a snowstorm that's ever been a threat. Now, having said that, I know some of you go camping in Alaska or you're in the mountains or, or whatever, and you wanna see a better demo of how much snow it can hold. So I'm gonna show you that. If you wanna see the full features of what the, this tent is inside, um, just a, uh, a walk through, just check the link below. I have a different video that shows you those, but I wanted to show you just how well it holds up the snow. Now, to be fair, um, I've only staked stake down the four corners, so there is a chance it may fall. I mean, really all of the stakes should be in, but um, the ground's really frozen and I didn't want to. Uh... Anyway, so just take a look and you'll see just how well it holds up. I don't know, maybe it'll fail, but I don't think it will fail. Check this out. So that's well more than a foot of snow and uh, it's still hanging in there. Nothing's bent. I mean, you can see that it's stressing the left side, but it, nothing's bent, nothing's broken. There's no permanent issues with any of it. That's one of those tents where if it's snowing at night, you don't even have to worry about waking up and clearing the snow off of the roof. Um, I think I need to just telescope that pole on the left-hand side a little bit better. so heavy. That was, that was a ton of snow on top. I, I couldn't even hold that roof up. Once I took the support bar out, I couldn't even hold that up. So, so let's try it again. I tighten the thumb screws. The tent's fine. I tighten the thumb screws tighter, knowing that I was gonna have more uh, weight on the roof. And when I say thumb screws, I'm talking about these thumb screws over here that, that uh, cause those sides telescope. So let's try that again. It's gotta be 100 pounds of snow, at least. Um, and like I said, you can tell that it's pushing on the tent, but nothing is damaged, nothing, nothing's broken. That's an extreme example. I don't recommend trying that on your own tent, but um, this is the tent that my father-in-law uses to go hunting, and, and it's perfect. It keeps you warm. There's less volume inside to keep warm. Keeps you... Um, dry. I mean, it's just fantastic. It, now we have this, we have this lodge tent over here. And if you look closely, you can even see there's a fire out, out of the flue. You can see there's some smoke. That one's, that one survived this snowstorm last night. And that holds up amazing to, to snow and to wind and rain and everything like that. 
but uh, you do have to wake up every couple hours and knock the snow off of that because there's just, I mean, that's, that roof, if you don't knock it off, is holding hundreds of pounds of, of snow. And then this one here, just, I mean, this is just a pick it up, go, um, you know, one or two nights or whatever, and you know you're not going to run into any issues with wind because there's just not as much surface area, so it can hold up really, really well the wind. And obviously it can hold up to more snow than you're likely to see in a, in a night. So hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.